starting um, two terms ago, uh, she's really fitted in well. And I think some of the key areas um, are the vertical forms, uh, the big sister programs. Um, she's been used to that, being able to uh, be supported, supported by older uh, children in the class and then growing through the class and then being a leader and supporting the younger ones. And to us that's certainly worked well uh, in the primary years and even pre-primary. And so that's um, great to see that that's here and that's just an integral part of, of the school. St Mary's, it was, uh, to, to us it was an obvious choice. Um, our daughter Bernadette, she, uh, we wanted her in a, in a closer environment than what she was previously used to having. And um, it was, it's worked out far beyond our expectations, far better. In fact, she asked me the other day, she said, Daddy, do you, do you think that I'd love school as much as we do, as I, as I do? And uh, I answered her honestly, I didn't think that um, she would love it as much as she does. But in fact, she on Sundays, she just loves what catching the bus back and going back. Not that she hates home, but she just loves the environment and the friends. And it's just a um, yeah, school to her. It's, uh, it's absolutely fantastic. She loves it. And I think um, a key thing that um, Ashley came to us with after the first term was she basically said she knew all of the girls' names in the school. She pretty much knew everyone <laughs> within the first term and the, that's just fantastic to say well that sort of family environment has just carried on. She started at the school and from the moment she's been at St Mary's she's loved it. Um, she's made lots of lovely friends, um, her, her, uh, her, her uh, knowledge at, at, uh, at school, her um, attitude has just skyrocketed hasn't mm. it? And I must admit, that appears to be one of the major differences, the ability to have Huge. flexibility in all areas. In all areas. Mm. Um, so the parents can have some input and drive things just to their requirements to some degree. Mm -hmm. um, it's fantastic. I mean, the, the larger schools just don't have that capability, just because of the sheer numbers probably. Well, one of the reasons we sent Kate to St Mary's is because she's got some significant health problems that also affect her ability to learn academically. Now St Mary's being as small as, a, as it is, have smaller class sizes and we knew this would help Kate focus on the subjects she wanted to achieve at. As well there's the added bonus that when she goes back to the hospital, hostel sorry, she is probably looked after better at the hostel than she is at home and that makes her feel more comfortable and better in the environment she's in. So that helps the next day with her learning and with the way she's trying to achieve things. We have been surprised about the amount of care and attention the school pays to her specific learning disabilities and to her health issues. And it's been a real surprise and a real bonus for her and for us that St Mary's are as focused as they are on ensuring that Kate's problems don't interfere with her achieving academically. She settled in really quickly, she loved it, she loved the collegiality of working, of being with other girls. She really liked the dorm atmosphere and she loved the fact that she could be herself. Katie was not quite so boy focused and so it wasn't such a big shock for her when she came through. But she loved the fact that she could be herself as well and if she wanted to be really good at something she could do so. I think boys put a pressure on girls that they're not aware of until they're in a girls' school. And um, when they, when Abby and Katie came to St Mary's, they realised that they could actually have a go at javelin or have a go at some of the things that they weren't good at. And it didn't matter if they failed, failed because they didn't have to put up any kind of pretense about being great at anything. So in that respect, just in their personalities and the way that they actually reacted to schoolwork, it was already a big change for them. And that continued right through the school years. They had a good time, they loved the girl things that they could do without any fear of judgement from boys, they liked the fact that they got used to the different personalities and the, the strata of girls, that um, there were some A-list girls, B-list girls and C-list girls, and they got to know how to work with those personalities. And I think that's one of the things that has been really good for them as they've left for work and university, 
is that they've realised that actually it doesn't really matter where they fit in those layers, they just know how to work them. Mm -hmm. She left school, she decided that she was really focused, she went to um, an AUFS night here at school and then went to France for a couple mm -hmm. of months, which really helped her focus and made her realise that there's a big world out there and she needs to be part of it. And so she came back to school, she was really determined about what she was going to do and she's gone on to uni now to do languages and is doing three languages this year, which just astounds me. None of her classes are in English at all. She does that because she loves loves the language and she learnt that here at St Mary's. French was um, a topic that she did all through the years and she just loved the opportunity of being in a small class. I think at one stage there were only three and she just had a great education in, in the French language from a French teacher. I think her, um, her only complaint uh, revolves around um, the hostel environment. They look after the girls so well and feed them so well. Uh, it puts pressure on us as parents to come up from scratch and provide the sort of standard of meals and care that they get here at St Mary's.